Day one, here we go. Okay, so if they could have possibly given me any smaller room, they probably would. Update, my room is awesome. Having ensuite is amazing. Being actually on site is also awesome. Next year I'll have accommodation just outside Kings, which is good in terms of it being closer to computer lab, but it's further from everything else. So, here what it looks like. Simple, one chair. Oh, the view, the view is fantastic. Look, I don't even know what that is. So here's the refrigerator, somehow levitating in the air. What slightly bothers me is just these three really shallow drawers. Interesting. Well, at least I have these. And then there's that. And then there's bathroom, which is amazing. But of course we have hot and cold water separately. Toilet. What a thing, no place for any makeup or shampoo or conditioner that will have to be somewhere else. So when you arrive you get like a welcome pack with all the information about what's gonna happen in the first few days and the first few hours. It was really interesting to me as if an all actually came to Hogwarts and brought some news. I don't know why I got so excited about the package that I got. There were a lot of documents there, a lot of stuff to read and only now I realize that maybe it's not that interesting. So I'm gonna talk through some of them and I'm gonna fast forward the rest. This was a welcome pack in my pigeonhole upon my arrival. First of all this was actually online so nothing new. So we are now here. We have dinner with our college parents today. Blah blah blah. So tomorrow is important day for matriculation. Then Sunday is like nothing. Monday fresh fair important. Other fresh fairs. Then we have actual lectures, but we don't. We have just registration on Thursday and World Cup. Okay, moving on. There are language courses that you can pick up, but they cost a lot, so I didn't. IT is really difficult, like there are a lot of resources and a lot of emails and accounts that you should set up. We had like a full library induction, so the guide wasn't that useful anyway. Then there was a chaplain inviting us to talk to him, which was nice. So I have to collect my BRP. BRP stands for Biometric Residence Permit and it's basically a card like this. So before coming to the UK, it's, it's a new thing from this year onwards. So they take all your fingerprints, your like eye stuff and all that. So they have all the information on me. And instead of having a visa in my passport as, as I used to, I now have another card to keep track of. Um, it's just my photo, my name, not even date of birth. It just says that I'm allowed to stay in the UK and work for 20 hours per week within 10 days, but I'm planning to do it tomorrow. So I have to go to post office. Then I have to go and register with the police. By the way, when I say register with the police, don't think of something illegal. It's a requirement for any international student who enters the UK. I had to do it once when I entered the country. It's a legal requirement for me to come and say, here I am, I'm here on legal grounds, I'm gonna study and here's my contact information. Technically I have to do it every time I come to the UK but now there is an easier procedure where I just go to tutorial office and sign my name. And then fill out some more forms and some financial stuff. Oh that's the most important one, getting Wi-Fi. Okay so we have this of course but I have not brought the cable and I don't want to buy it here. Wi-Fi for life, this is important penalties for excessive use. You might think some people would go crazy on the internet and would spend hours there, but actually I heard just one or two instances when people kind of broke that limit, but not even for a, a lot. I can assure you, even if you are watching something, even if you're listening to the music, if you constantly send a lot of data to your friends or something, 
it will all be okay. Like that limit is kind of huge. You have to do some crazy stuff to break it. And then download an illegal material. So you can be disconnected for one week and find that it talks about EPOS cards, which I used to, to pay for stuff in cafeteria. Then this is a really important guy, it's really big. Your responsibilities. I heard some supervisors do not show up, so we'll see. This is very important. You must open one immediately. Well, I tried. Oh, bank account, a huge topic. You really have to get one. We were offered to get one when we were still in sixth form. But back then I thought, I would never need a UK bank account. But actually now everything is done with credit cards, debit cards and so on. For the international students, there are a lot of options. I signed up with Barclays and I don't pay a penny. Like I just store my money there and there is no even a monthly fee. It's really convenient. King's is with Barclays. So if I choose Barclays and I have to transfer money there, it's without any transaction fees. The matriculation weekend, that's happening tomorrow. We must register with GP, that's so confusing, like we have to actually go and choose GP from the list and then go to the nurse and tell her which doctors that we have registered with. Fantastic, I thought they would at least help us somehow with this. Then we have some more timetables. And in this little envelope I had my college card which looks terrible and yes they do use the photo that you send with SAQ tomorrow matriculation dinner at half past seven my better she will be cleaning up the those two rubbish bins okay so everyone who wanted to know about the better pack yes it is awful this pillow is the size of my arm. I could literally sleep on my arm and then everything else is just white as if I'm in a hospital. Yeah, it does feel like it. After matriculation or basically just sending up the paper that you're not gonna cheat during exams and now you're a member of college, we left the chapel and there was a huge row of people with banners and they all said some names on them and only then we realized that those were our college parents waiting for us. The next day I went to collect my BRP and there was a huge queue of students. Imagine all the international students have to collect it within first 10 days. And it just takes a couple of seconds to actually receive it and sign something. But the queue was huge. The convenient thing is that Barclays was just across the road from the post office. So I popped into there and I filled in the application on one of their machines. You put all the information that you know in there and they give you a reference code so the next time I came we skipped all this talking about my passport details and all that because they had all the information and the appointment is supposed to run smoother and faster. Spoiler alert, it didn't. It took me three hours. So yeah, my whole day was full of stuff that nobody really wants to do during your first or second day. Then it was finally matriculation dinner. One thing you should know about King's formal halls and just generally eating is that we sit in this huge dining hall and it's so dark you can't even see your food. We sat in groups by subject with our director of studies. This year there are only four of us. There are two girls and two boys doing computer science at King's. There was a choir singing all the time. So it went like this.
that was the day. Then there was some post matriculation dinner entertainment in the bar. But I don't remember what I did. I think I went back to my room. I was so tired. I still had a jet lag, which is just three or four hours, but I really wanted to go to bed. I still haven't unpacked half of my stuff back then. And I'm just turning into drinking. So that's how my day ended. What I didn't know back then is that every day for this first week would be like that. I'd have to go to different places, submit documents, there would be logistic problems. I still didn't have any adapters, so my stuff was like just on 20% battery all the time. And then everyone else came with their parents and they could show them the city and settle down, do the laundry, do the unpacking together. International students don't get that. But it does get better, so stay tuned for the next video. Bye!